Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. Mm -hmm. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're going to be studying in the book of Isaiah, and we are in the Old Testament in the King James Version of the Holy Bible, and we are in chapter 17. Now, in, ver in uh, chapter 16, we heard where the burden of Moab, uh, or the oracle or prophecy against Moab, was performed. Now, in chapter 17, it's going to be Damascus. So, the burden or the oracle or prophecy of the Lord, uh, or prophecy against Damascus. Behold, Damascus is taken, or will cease from being a city, and it shall be a ruinous heap. The cities of R-O-R, Ur, R-O-R, are forsaken. They shall be for flocks, which shall lie down, and none shall make them afraid. It's not going to be anybody there to bother them. The fortress shall also cease from Ephraim, and the kingdom from Damascus, and the remnant of Syria. They shall be as the glory of the children of Israel, saith the Lord of hosts. And in that day it shall come to pass that the glory of Jacob shall be made thin or grow wane or wane like the moon when it's getting smaller and the fatness of his flesh shall wax lean or grow lean. It's going to be starving and it shall be as when the harvest man gathereth the corn or the grain and reapeth the ears with his arm and with his arm is with his strength. And it shall be as he that gathereth ears in the valley of Rephraim. Yet gleaning grapes shall be left in it. As the shaking of an olive tree, two or three ber berries or olives in the top of the othermost bough, four or five in the outmost fruitful branches thereof, saith the Lord God of Israel. At that day shall a man look to his maker, and his eyes shall have respect to the Holy One of Israel. And he shall not look to the altars, the work of his hands. Neither shall have respect, ne excuse me, neither shall respect that which his fingers have made, either the groves or the wooden images, or the images which are the um, incense altars. So he's not going to be looking to that anymore. He's going to realize that, whoa, wait a minute, back up. I need the Lord God in heaven. But in that day shall his strong cities be as a forsaken bough and an uppermost branch, which they left because of the children of Israel. And there is, there shall be desolation. They've done just like Israel. Because thou hast forgotten the God of thy salvation, and hath not been mindful of the rock of thy strength, or your stronghold, which is the Lord. Therefore shalt thou plant pleasant plants, and shalt, shalt set it with strange slips, or set out foreign seedlings. In that day shalt thou make thy plant to grow, and in the morning shalt thou make thy seed to flourish. But the harvest shall be a heap in the day of grief and of desperate sorrow. Nothing going to come to fruition. Woe to the multitude of the people, which make a noise like the noise of the seas and to the rushing of nations, that make a rushing like the rushing of mighty waters, where they're going to be running to. The nation shall rush like the rushing of many waters, but God shall rebuke them, and they shall flee far off, and shall be chased as the chaff of the mountains before the wind, and like a rolling thing before the whirlwind. And behold, at evening tide, trouble, and before the morning, he is not, which is, he is no more. This is the portion of them that spoil us, or plunder us, and the lot of them that rob us. 
oh, rob them from the glory of the Lord. And there are many deceptive people now. And they are drawing people away from God. And they're promising them all kinds of, oh, wonderful things. And if you give X amount of dollars, we're going to pray for you and you're going to get rich. These are false prophets. These are feeding itching ears. Be careful and take everything back to the word of God. Don't trust me that I'm telling you. You need to find out for yourself. You need to read and study. I'm helping you. That's my job. I'm helping you. That's my mission. That's my ministry. Is to help you. Come to the realization. And to make you hungry for the word of God. This is our sword. This is our weapon against the enemy. The word of God is the sword to which we defend ourselves from the enemy. So if you don't know the word of the Lord, you can be deceived and swept away in a river of lies right into the gates of hell. So be careful, my brothers and sisters, and take it upon yourself to sit down with your body, your body, with your Bible, excuse me, and ask the Lord for understanding and knowledge before you start reading. So that the words that you used to read, and they made no sense to you, that now they will come with clarity. And you can start putting all the pieces together. Because God's word is like this beautiful tapestry woven together. The Old Testament and the New Testament. God is the same yesterday today and he will be the same tomorrow he will not change what he says is good is good yesterday today and tomorrow what is bad and an abomination and sin was yesterday today and tomorrow he doesn't change we have to change and as always <laughs> i love you